Can you sell food from home in Florida? Well, in this video of Cottage Foods Laws, we're gonna dive into that specific question and give you specifics on what foods you can actually sell and what you can't, as well as how much money you can make. And you might be quite surprised if you're unaware of how much money you can make every year from your home right now. All right, so welcome back to Cottage Foods Laws. And in this video, we're gonna cover a great question I got from a subscriber from our Marketing Food Online channel, which is our other food entrepreneur channel here on YouTube. Uh, they asked about, can you sell food from home in Florida? And the answer to that is of course, yes. But it depends on what type of food you're talking about specifically. Uh, Florida does have a cottage food law. It's actually one of the best cottage food laws in the entire country and it allows you to sell up to $250,000 a year from your home with, get this, no license, you do not need an inspection, or even training from the Department of Agriculture, which is quite interesting. Uh, compared to many other states, uh, Florida's laws are quite lenient, and they allow you to produce pretty much the majority of non-perishable food items. Unfortunately, you cannot create foods such as like tacos, pizzas, hamburgers, things that you would find like in a restaurant or a food truck or cafe. But if you're asking, can you sell food from home in Florida? You most certainly can. Now let's go over what you can legally sell out of your home. Now the other thing, really quick, a side note, where you can sell your food products is pretty vast as well. Unfortunately, they can't sell just yet to retail stores. Uh, you can't sell a product to retail stores and then have them turn around and sell that. It has to be direct sales. It's known as indirect sales if you are selling it to like a restaurant, a retail store, uh, and such. You can't also do wholesale where you're kind of selling in bulk or mass production. You can't do that from home just yet, but maybe one day hopefully their laws will change. Uh, next up also is catering. So you do get a question quite often, can I start a catering business for my home in Florida? That is something that people look quite a bit on Google and search, but you really can't do that just yet from, from home because catering would entail things such as proteins and foods that would be, have to be at certain temperatures or time sensitive, and those would be potentially hazardous food items. So let's dive into really quick the allowed foods that you can do from Florida. So if you're looking to create any type of bread, this would be things like tortillas, cookies, brownies, rolls, cupcakes, muffins, breads, cake pops, and biscuits, and those types, that's perfectly fine. Yes, you can do that. Even cupcakes as well, yes. Uh, things like candies you can do, things fudge, chocolate, brittles, those types of candies are also allowed. Um, if you're looking for like condiments such as nut butters or honeys or vinegars, that's something you can do as well. When it comes to like dry goods like spices and seasonings, believe it or not, even teas you can do, coffee beans, uh, mixes, dried fruits and pasta noodles and such, these are perfectly allowed as well. They have a pretty extensive list and if you want to check out the full list, Check the link down below this video and go to our blog and it has a whole list of everything you need as well as additional resources. So if you're looking to create a food business from home in Florida, it's definitely a good thing to do. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well, that is a legality. It's not necessarily required, but I highly, highly recommend that you get a LLC and incorporate yourself as a business. Here's the reason why, because you do carry some sense of liability and your homeowner's insurance policy normally will not cover food businesses or food products or packaging uh, uh, packaged food products of that kind. And if you're creating them from home and someone gets sick and you don't have an LLC or even some type of food business insurance policy, that could pose a big problem for you legally and you could get into some trouble if you happen to be get, get sued. So keep that in mind as well. And definitely subscribe to your Cottage Foods on Law Laws. We've got brand new videos that are gonna actually be a full video of Cottage Food Laws for Florida. We're gonna cover everything as far as even labeling requirements, um, and additional uh, limitations and things that you need to know about as well. But this video was all about, can you sell food from home? You de definitely can, you most certainly can. Um, and you can do it without all the permits and licenses. So uh, check out our next videos and check out these videos here. These are additional resources to help you get your cottage food business up and running.